There's the great engineer. <clears throat> if we can get the Sistine Chapel, I'd be pretty happy. Fortify. Carl's Benz! Make me a car. Just gonna hit space so you do nothing. Automate you, because I'm lazy. You sit in Cahokia for now so that we don't pay your maintenance fee. That'll be nice. Uh, oh, reselect the faith purchase. Thank you very much. We're going to start working on buildings. Fortify up. Um... I'm not going to leave the treb there. I'm going to move it down here because if there is going to be declaration, that's what we want. I'm going to leave the composite bowman in there. Um, I'll leave the horseman up here as well so you can respond to things. But there's a fair amount of distance here. Pretty good response rate. I'm going to move you... Actually, maybe I will leave you here. I'll leave you on the road. That'll be okay. I would love to take Honolulu. We don't have the happiness right now. But if they declare on me, I think they'll be sorry in the end. Busiest people, based on hammers. Elizabeth's got a lot of production. No matter she's, no wonder she's getting some, uh, some hammers. Part of me is thinking about building tile improvement with this guy, but I think the Sistine Chapel is going to be nice for us. I, I think a cultural victory could very well happen on this map. Obviously, it'll depend pretty heavily on a lot of the ideologies. Um, and we do have to claim some of these wonders at some point. But our passive culture generation is stupendous. Mm, I'm just going to automate you. Yeah, you'll do the right thing. So we got our road connection all done there. It's going to help our economy uh, additionally because, yeah, look at that. 11 gold, 3 gold. It's fine. And of course, just being able to quickly get from one to the other is going to be nice. Uh, given the sort of the length of our empire here, railroads are going to be incredibly important for us. Battle Hunter says, if Honolulu declares without having the hill, I would use the great general for a great position to take Honolulu. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. In fact, it's tempting to just purchase this tile and prevent them from ever getting it and using it against me. It's very tempting to do that. Because, <sighs> yeah, you could put a great general here and then have all this territory. Can't do it while there's a guy standing there. It would save us from buying the tile. I don't think we need that, but I am tempted to just buy the hill. I don't think I have a promise to not buy stuff against them. I don't remember if it would show me. No, I don't think I've bought any tiles in this direction. I think I told them I promised not to settle here. No, we'll be okay. I'll save my money. I'm going to keep spending it on upgrades. I think that's going to be a lot more important. And yeah, I'd rather not use the Citadel Fort if I can avoid it. Wow. All right, America's going to be a problem later. They expanded pretty aggressively over here, and we are able to take the Mongol capital. We might have to go and respawn the Mongols at some point. That's entirely possible. Alright, you're fully upgraded. You've got that. This one's not upgraded, but he's not really on the front line of battle or anything. Still, we may as well upgrade the last guy. He's probably... Does he have any promotions? Yeah, one level. Not much, but it's something. How's our military strength looking? We're only 7th. Now, it is a little deceptive because we have a lot of ranged units, which don't contribute as much to that count. Although, we don't have a ton of stuff. We did finish the walls here, which are nice. Ooh, nice blue walls. Do they all look like that now? I guess it's the air. No, it's the, we got stone walls here. How come? How come these walls are blue like this? I've never seen this before. Huh. I don't know. Alright, Garden's gonna start coming online, giving me some happiness. Oh, in the places with my religion. You yeah, really have to um, work on that, don't we? Oh, that's what we're gonna start doing, some Inquisitors. Uh, is it gonna buy Inquisitors of the right religion? I'm not sure. Remind me later. We're making a lot of faith per turn. 42? Crazy. Okay, we're going to wait. Okay, so we just purchased the mosque, otherwise I could have gotten the Inquisitor. Still, mosque's not bad. Peace Treaty of Genghis. 
I mean, if I'm worried about happiness, actually, hold on. Yeah, more like it's nice that the the gardens give me happiness, but also just getting more moss gives me more happiness. Now let's just keep building that. It gives me more faith, and I can just do things later on. Garden is done here. Now I don't think that's a happy garden. Just a regular garden. Still not bad. We'll have them for later. At some point, I still do want the granary here. I suppose now might be the time. We're full on trade routes. I don't need more military units. Can start to build longswordmen. I think I'm going to skip building longswordmen. We'll just build some muskets later on. That way you don't have to worry about upgrading. I think it'll be fine. I will want the armory. You know, gran granary into armory. Solid. It might be worth building a caravansary here to encourage AI to send trade routes to the city. Um, actually, I don't have a caravansary at all anymore. I probably won't build in Timoak. I'll probably build in Cahokia and maybe Ag Agadika. And that way, both sort of halves of the map will have some extra incentive to send trade routes to me. Different architecture for a different regional city. Blue walls for an Asian city. Neat. All right. Oh, the hill is clear. Well, it was. Yeah, I don't know. Do we steal that tile? Shit, it's a pretty strong move, isn't it? Okay, next time the, the tile is clear, I will go ahead. I'll move a pikeman up there and then move the great general. Carl's Benz, stick put. I'll try to watch out for it. Uh, market, please. I should still build walls here. Just I'll feel a little bit safer. Um, it's not at the front, but what the hell. Tonga, nice. Temple, done. Monument, always good. You know what? Let's build a monument right away. Never hurts to have that. I suppose if I do want Honolulu, I would want a couple of swordsmen, maybe. We'll hold off for now. Um. No. Friendships renewing. That's the other thing. I still need money for. I'm not making as much as I was. We got more of an army now, of course. All right. Great work of writing. How am I looking for my um, my slots here? Ten tourism. It's not terrible. Um, actually, I'm surprised that. No one else is skyrocketing ahead with all their wonders, but I guess their wonders aren't really giving them that much tourism. Uh, we have no, like, combos or anything, so I'll leave that out for now. Choose production. In my capital, I should really have a market, because you do make a fair amount of money usually in the capital. Um, amphitheater would also be nice, though. Let's actually prioritize that. Um, but in two turns, I'll actually buy... I'll, I'll preempt that with a Sistine Chapel. Still someone standing there. Carl's Benz... Carl Benz, do nothing. Uh, you have a religion as well. I'll hold out for now. Oh, you know what? Fine. I don't, he doesn't have a religion. We'll do it. We can send faith your way. I mean, it's not like they can they can spy on me or do anything like that. The AI knows how your your military strength. Are you still at war? No, you're not at war with the, um, America anymore. That is actually a bit concerning. Actually, highly concerning. Go ahead. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? I'd rather give you money. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Yeah, we're gonna do this. We gotta keep the Huns busy. If they declare war on me, I... uh, let's get the university up and running. Well, you know what? No, this is likely to become a military front. Uh, oh, you don't even have a barracks yet. No, never mind. University is. <gasps> the hill is empty. All right, let's do it. Kind of an ass move. But hey, sometimes you need a bit of that. Wow, that's a lot of great artists. He must not have any slots for them. He should pop them for um, a golden age. Ah, wow. Did we ever get a lot of tech from that research agreement? Holy cow. Sorry, bro. It was a misclick. I, I didn't mean to take that hill. <coughs> um, you know, we can really, really, uh, well, actually get our ass flanked with um, those units here. Um, 
maybe on the south side like that. Like this, move in some me more melee units. Whoa, they've got their Minutemen on Oh, well, that makes sense. We could take Honolulu pretty damn fast, I think. Oh, right. Uh, we need to queue up the Sistine Chapel. Bam. It needs... Would it finish instantly? 750 hammers. That's exactly how much we need. Boom. That's going to be lovely. I'm still tempted to pick this up for the trade route. Uh, economics is always nice for a lot of money. But I think the do thing to do is not only pick up gunpowder and chemistry, but actually go all the way up to fertilizer, which is a brilliant, brilliant little thing. Even with all the TPs we're building. Yay! Plus 25% culture in all cities. Contains two slots for great works of art. Is this a hill? It is. It's a bit annoying, because we can't shoot over it. But what I can do is move you here, and like that, because these trebs can hit the city right away, which is nice. Um, yeah, you need to be in a position where you can sort of protect these crossbows. Actually, the crossbow will be able to shoot some fair amount of stuff from there, for example. Oh, you need to be upgraded. I was holding off for a while. You could be upgraded. Oh, if we had a horse. Oh, we don't have any horses right now. Does hor do horsemen not need horses? I think that's true, isn't it? I always forget that, because it's non-obvious. Yes, we're friends with England. Yes, we're friends with America. Everyone just loves to state the obvious. Uh, we have a worker in a bad spot here. Okay, he's moving away. Polynesia does have a lot of units. Oh, and we have no happiness. I can't declare yet. I can't declare yet. I have a spy in their city. Oh, here's the other thing. When am I, my spy going to do things? One turn! <laughs> That's fantastic! That's really quite good. Um, you don't have any crazy happiness buildings, which is too bad. I mean, we got some here we might maintain. There's no trading for stuff. That's very frustrating. You, oh, that's Timoak. It's my capital building? The Opera House, that's fine. Then build the Musician's Guild. Actually, start with the Musician's Guild. All right, religious tolerance is what we're specifically aiming for in piety. We may not continue any further than that. But this will be nice because it'll ensure that we always have our pasture bonus, as long as our religion is at least second place in the city. And right now, that's not the case in a lot of things, but we'll work on it. Yeah, I still like the idea of trying to pop all the mosques that we can, and then spamming out Inquisitors. Next turn. Steal me something good. Polynesian and England are now friends. It's a bit awkward. <clears throat> Printing press. Doubles our religious pressure. That's always nice. Unlock zoos, which we could honestly use. Uh, it would be really nice to build the Leaning Tower of Pisa, actually. Banking is, of course, always nice, too, but no, I think we're going to take this. It's worth slightly less, which is disappointing. But no, we're going to do that. Spy got promoted, that's good. Um, I don't think we're going to leave him in Honolulu. 
because Honolulu may not be something we can spy on for much longer. Um, I'm going to move to the Huns. Again, I try to avoid uh, spying on a tech leader, and especially England, which gets a bonus spy. So they're because they're very likely to have a defensive spy. Hmm. We'd be facing a lot of bombard. Also, Honolulu has a combat strength of 42. That is actually really, really, really high. I actually think that starting this configuration would be a bad idea. I think what we actually do is pull back one level. And actually encourage them to come into the radius of the cathedral, or of the citadel and get bombarded. Right? So if we go something like this instead, let me pull back with that treb all the way over there. Park like this. And adopt a more defensive footing. I mean, the thing is, we're going to get bombarded by Honolulu, and it's going to do a crap ton of damage to us. You know what I mean? I don't think we have to rush into this. We don't have the happiness. We'll just sit like this. We'll wait. Uh, a couple of muskets would make a big difference, too. Maybe even just upgrading the cannons. Uh, I swear I'm not to spawn you anymore. I actually have no plans. Try and get them to war with someone else for a few turns first. That would be very good. I wonder if America's interested. Americans are warmongers, right? That's a bit rich for my blood. You're still at war with Mongolia. Yeah, so that's not even distracting. Now, America might do a mutual war declaration, but honestly, they're so far away, I'm not sure it would help. Maybe they're going to move more units away to go after the Mongols. I'm not confident that they will. I'm not going to rush into it. I think it would be a mistake. Our happiness is recovering a bit, which is nice. But we actually still have quite a bit to develop in our own cities. But say, maybe they'll build more wonders. Could happen. Caravan. I don't think we're going to send you internally anymore. I think we're going to resume trade outside the emperor, empire for some more money. Uh, it would be nice to build up enough money to get some um, research agreements. And keep one troop in Mosin Kani. Bit of a token thing. Uh, you know what would also be nice? A castle. Let's finish the Musicians Guild and then go into the castle. I think we're going to have a lot of castles. There are going to be so many great works in Honolulu as well. It's going to be fantastic whenever we take it. But I don't think we're rushing into it. Armory is good. Um, we're close to gunpowder. Yeah, good. We're not going to have money to upgrade the trebuchets to cannons. But if I do build a trebuchet and then a um, a musket over here, we could go with a musket trebuchet based attack, which wouldn't be terrible. I think you're going to queue up a zoo. We're going to need a little bit more happiness. Am I still at war city states? Um, no, just everyone hates me because I stole too many workers. Except for these guys who I don't think knew me at the time, which is nice. Should I actually send them trade routes. Yeah, can I get seven? You have a lot of gold in the bank, buddy. It's a little scary. Yes, you know what? I will open borders. I'm going to say, it'll probably encourage you to disperse your troops. So let's plot against Genghis. Tell you what, Genghis, I'll let you know. 
Because I'm a nice guy like that. Border pops over there. Horse and iron to Washington. Um, I'll sell some again to someone. <laughs> like how the Huns are friendly. Hey, what, buddy? Sell you all my iron and all my horses. Really? That's it? You know what? I'd be probably better off selling the iron to England. Since they seem to want it. What if I threw in the horses? Would that... No, you're not interested in buying that. I don't want the open borders. Actually, it would send my tourism your way. We don't do a lot right now, but it's something. You know what? Let's do it. Start working some influence. And we'll sell our horses over here. Okay, six gold per turn. Like it. Well, it's 4 p.m. We're going to wrap this up. Um, I think I, I, I like the plan of sitting back against Honolulu a little bit longer. I think rushing it does not help us as much as we think it might. We do want Honolulu. It's got a great set of wonders. We're going to be in a good position to attack it. Uh, the extra trebuchet, some musket production would be very nice. Maybe Mosin Connie after you finish the Musician's Guild. Um, ooh, building that castle is still going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and DQ the Opera House. We'll consider something else. I suppose Tonga could go barracks, armory, military production. I don't think we need to worry about a castle here. We've got enough units that the castle is not going to be required. But I might do something like that and then consider pumping out a couple of units. We'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for coming out. Battle Hunter! Will you try to construct the Leaning Tower? Right, um... I have that queued, right? I have printing press. The Leaning Tower must have gotten built already. Right? It would be in here. Circus Maximus. Where else do we need, um... Timoak needs a Coliseum. Yeah, after you finish this, uh, walls and everything is still good, but no. Coliseum so we can Circus Maximus. That would be nice. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We will be back next Wednesday with another Civilization V live stream. It's still at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. This Saturday, starting at noon Eastern Time, we'll be doing another gaming live stream over there. We tend to mix up what we play on Saturday. Sometimes we try a few different games. Sometimes we play Dwarf Fortress. Sometimes we play Kerbal Space Program. Um, it'll really depend. So tune in for Saturday for that. Um, next week, so for next stream is this Saturday. Then next Wednesday is another Civ 5 stream. And then the next weekend is Let Em Dare, a 48-hour game programming competition. I stream the whole thing. I make a game from scratch. Definitely, definitely make sure to tune in for that. If you haven't done it already, make sure you're subscribed over at youtube.com slash quillatine. There's going to be a lot more news about that. It's my favorite weekend of the entire year. I look forward to it so, so much. See you then. Bye-bye, folks.